A letter to a young child. Hair of flowing chocolate, eyes like uncreamed coffee. You hold hope in little packages, wrapped in bows and glitter, given daily to people with gift-receiving issues. But they can give gifts right back, so it's okay. They hand you their love like it's something to be earned, wrapped in reflective paper that helps amplify your inequ inequities, tied together with bows of their own because every gift they give comes with strings. Every inch of their love to be earned. Young one, though their gifts come at so high a price, you love freely. Give like it's the last thing you'll ever do because if you know, if you have any say in it, it will be. You give so much you almost don't notice when they start taking. It's surreal. It isn't happening, and maybe they'll be happier without you anyway. They're so young, so unaware. Yes, they'll be fine. Meanwhile, the takers keep taking, first one, then another, to a staggering total of nine, with another count measuring thirteen, a third coming to four, the most important one coming to six. Six. Six is a terrible number. Six is the greatest number, not terrible. Six is the worst number. Not counting me, six is five. Five is much better. Five is sustainable. Five is beautiful. Five is the best number. Take away one and the other five are beautiful. Dear child, you've lost so much and you're not done losing, but take a breath, center, regroup. Know that later in life, you are by anyone else's estimation successful, though you will grow in pain and sadness and as realization dawns, you will grow like everyone else. You will learn faster, you will dodge quicker, and you may just be, that may just lose that blindingly giving spirit. But you actually won't. I know, because you become me, and I still haven't learned my lesson.